Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my henna routine and these are the products that I'm going to be using. To wash and condition, I'm going to be using my Aussie line and to moisturize and deep condition, I'm going to be using Camille Rose. I've got a little bit of green tea and apple cider vinegar here and this is the brand of henna that I'm going to use. I got this from an Indian supermarket um, and it also has amla and shikaki on, in it. I'm not super particular about my brands as long as they are 100% natural, which is why I like to get them from the Indian supermarket. So I'm going to start by brewing my tea. And I'm using green tea instead of plain water because of the nutrients that green tea has and how it reacts with the henna. I would like it to draw the color out of this henna. It also helps to prevent shedding as well. And so I'm just going to steep this for about three to five minutes. As this is steeping, I'm going to add about three capfuls of apple cider vinegar. And this is just to clean my hair as well as help aid in um, bringing out the color of the henna. So I have jet black henna and um, that's really the only color I've ever used. If you're not interested in color, you can use um, regular henna or clear henna, but I'm using jet black. And so I'm going to mix my henna in a large mixing bowl. And um, if you've used henna before, regular natural henna um, is a green or brownish colored powder. Um, but since this is jet black henna, it's a little bit darker. And it's also darker because it has amla powder as well as shikake powder in it. Henna naturally colors thickens and strengthens your hair, making it more resilient to breakage during daily grooming. And natural henna color usually results in light hair um, from colors ranging from orange to a deep red. I always use jet black because I really like jet black um, and I just really like the way jet black hair looks. This henna also has amla powder, which is a natural astringent that stimulates the roots and promotes growth and controls premature graying of hair. It also has shikake powder, which is used in place of shampoo as a cleanser that doesn't strip your hair. It has a very low pH, and it also helps with detangling the hair and softening and strengthening the hair. And so I'm going to pour a little bit of the green tea mixture into the henna and mix it until I get the right consistency. You don't want it too thick, but you also don't want it too thin. The consistency that I usually go for is kind of like a brownie batter. So that's kind of, it's kind of what I'm going for. If you do it a little bit too thin, that's okay because we're gonna let it sit for a while and it'll thicken up. Um, but it's just a habit just to make sure you get it the right consistency the first time. So I'm going to cover the mixture with saran wrap and I'm just going to let it sit for about two to three hours to give the color a chance to extract from the henna and to just get it the perfect consistency. So I have washed my hair and conditioned it with Aussie. And so I'm starting on clean hair and I'm just letting you see how my hair looks um, before I apply the henna. As you can see, my curls are kind of, you know, not really defined, a little, it's detangled, but just not really looking super defined. Um, and it is conditioned, but I just wanted to show you how brown my hair is as well and just the state of what it looks like before this henna treatment. To me, it's just looking a little dull, a little limp, a little lifeless. 
And so we're gonna see if this henna treatment can spruce this up a bit. So I'm going to wear my latex gloves. Um, it is important because henna can stain your hands and nails. Um, it can stain surfaces. Um, it can be really, really, really messy. Uh, <laughs> I know this from experience. So just beware. Be sure to put a towel down or something to clean up the mess. So I'm starting with this back section of my hair, which I told you guys in the last video is my can't get right section. Um, these curls are just never really as defined as I would like them to be. So I'm hoping that this henna treatment can kind of strengthen them up a little bit and kind of transform that for me. So henna binds to the hair shaft and it can kind of weigh the hair down a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm applying it, you can kind of see how it's kind of attaching to the hair and elongating it. And so you can really see like just the difference right there. But I loved using henna when I was relaxed. Um, it was a great conditioning treatment for my hair. And it was the primary reason I was able to stretch my relaxers for so long because it would make my new growth very, very manageable. So I could go such a longer time without a relaxer. So this is the first time I am applying henna to my natural hair. And I am applying it understanding that it is possible to um, elongate my curls because it made my new growth when I was relaxed so much manageable, so much more manageable. So um, I'm not really sure what to expect, but I, I am understanding that it is possible that it could elongate my curls. So we'll see um, kind of the result that I get here. I am focusing on um, the sides and the back of my hair because the curl pattern is a little bit tighter um, and less defined. And um, to me, you, you could say those strands of hair may be a little bit thick, uh, thinner in circumference. So I'm paying very close attention to those sections. As I am applying the henna, it is really, really making my hair soft and um, I can already feel it being very manageable. It is very easy to get through my hair and um, I don't have to um, detangle it. I can kind of feel that it's really like detangling as I'm adding it to my hair. And so I'm just gonna go through and kind of just smooth it and make sure it's all throughout the strands. It is important to note that if you plan on coloring your hair in the future, um, henna is probably not recommended because henna is permanent and it binds to your hair forever. Um, I may think about coloring my hair in the future, but I will cross that bridge when I get there. But until then, um, I'm just planning to use henna for right now. So you can definitely see how it has detangled and has really, um, really made the hair a lot more manageable. And I don't know if you can see it, but my hair is really, really soft right now. <laughs> So after smoothing the henna throughout my hair, I am going to put a plastic cap over my head. And you can sit with this for about two to three hours. Um, I think I sat with this overnight, uh, so it was about eight to 12 hours. Um, but the time doesn't intensify the color at all. Um, you can really leave it on as long as you want, but two to three hours is a good processing time. I think I just didn't feel like washing it out so I slept with it in so this is the next morning and I just want to show you guys how like the henna has um, like sat in my hair overnight my hair is still in the same condition it was in last night still soft still manageable it's not dry it's not hard so I just kind of wanted you guys to see how my hair has processed the curls look um, kind of clumped together so like defined individually now I have rinsed out the henna with my Aussie deep conditioner 
I did not use any shampoo. Do not use any shampoo. Just make sure to co-wash it. And it's important to go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner. So I'm using Camille Rose here. Um, henna is known to strengthen the hair and it binds to the hair shaft, coating it um, permanently. And so we wanna make sure we go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner to kind of add that moisture balance um, to the hair. If you remember what my hair looked like before the henna, um, you can see that the curls are a little bit more defined right now and my hair looks really soft. It feels really soft as well. And it is very easy to maneuver this conditioner throughout my hair. And remember, this is my can't get right section. So you see them curls. <laughs> And so I'm just really, really proud and amazed at how soft my hair feels and how I'm able to just quickly maneuver through um, my strands. My hair is super, super detangled and I didn't even do very much in the shower to detangle it. So you can even see, even though my hair is wet, my curls are still elongated, um, hanging a little bit longer and more defined than they were before the henna treatment. And so now I'm going to cover my hair with a plastic cap and I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. And this is my hair after I have rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair. As you can see, it does look darker, giving it um, that jet black color. I definitely see the curls being super defined. They're super defined after this treatment. And this is what my hair looked like before the henna treatment. And so just a little bit, almost drier, even though it was wet um, and a little bit more shrinkage. This is after I have applied um, product to my hair. So I've applied, I've done my regular wash and go. Um, you can see that routine in my last video. But even if you look at my last video, even after applying product, my hair was shrinking up quite a good bit. So these curls are super elongated, even though they're still wet. Um, and I'm just really, really loving this curl definition. Um, it doesn't look super, super jet black right now, but once it dries, you will definitely be able to see. Um, and also the way that henna works is that the color kind of releases and intensifies in the hair about 24 to 48 hours after application. It is important to note that if you do plan to color your hair in the future, um, henna is probably not the best idea because it is permanent and it does permanently bind to your hair shaft. Um, helping you retain length. This is my hair fully dried. Um, you can see how dark it is um, and you can see just how defined those curls are. I really, really love henna and I definitely think I'm going to add it to my natural hair regimen. Um, I loved it when I was relaxed and I think I'm gonna keep using it while I'm natural. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.